Welcome back YouTube. Opar Madman coming at you with another range report from my 6.5 Creedmoor Ruger Precision Rifle. Um, thought I'd post up some more data from you guys, what I'm, some more results of what I got, and uh, see what you guys think about it. Um, as promised, um, I wasn't done with these 143s and I've got some more work to do with them. Um, but the uh, today's work that we're going to talk about was the 6.5 143 grain ELDX loaded with Superformance. Um, I found absolutely nobody loading this or talking about it much. Um, so I'm interested to see what you guys think. I'm really, if you guys have an opinion, um, post something in the comments. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what I'm doing right. So guys, I'm going to break this down into um, basically just the one load test that I was doing instead of doing the whole range report all in the same video. So uh, that way I break it up a little bit more. You guys can go if you don't care about some of like the 123s, I'm just going to give you the data for, for what we're going to have in the load title and see how that works out. If you guys like that, don't like that, post in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Um, but anyway, we're going to talk about the Superformance powder with 143 gain ELD axis today. Guys, um, I do have to say right off the gate, um, it did seem to be a better load than I was getting with the H4350s. If you guys are following my videos, you know that the H4350 load workup that I did I just wasn't impressed with. I, uh, you know, two and a half inch groups just weren't anything at 150 yards. And so, um, same as before, uh, 150 yard groups, guys, this whole video, 150 yard groups. Verify the range finder this time to actually be 151.2, but we're just going to call it 150 because that's certainly close enough. So, talk about the loads I'm going to post up on the screen. Um, we started these off at 42 and a half and went up to 44.7, which was Hornady's max load. Um, on this video, because there's such a significant difference between um, what the book data insinuated that it should be versus what the actual velocities were, I'm going to give you the should be an actual, and then the, you can see the standard deviation. I will say the standard deviation tended to be much better than I was getting with the H4350s on this projectile. Um, I don't know if that's just the power of the load or what exactly, but let's get into it guys. The uh, 42 and a half grains of Superformance was uh, 2,491 feet per second, standard deviation of 13.9. The 43 grain velocity was 2,538 feet per second with a standard deviation of 5.8. The 43 and a half grain of Superformance was 2,573 feet per second with a standard deviation of 14.4. .4. 44 grains was 2,608 feet per second with a standard deviation of 12.7. And we maxed out this time, guys, at 44.7 with a velocity of 2,667 feet per second with a standard deviation of 8.2. Now, if you were not looking at the book data, that would sound like, hey, you got 20 feet per second greater than the H4350, your standard deviations were much better. What were the groups, guys? Oh, so let's look at the groups. So the groups were much better this time. Every single load, I was below one MOA. So first group, and uh, you'll see it on the screen, guys. Let's see if you guys like this format better. Um, I uh, found this program online that uh, kind of does your groups for you, and that way you guys can see them and the data's posted on the screen. So if you like that better, let me know. If you'd rather have it some other way, I'm interested to hear if there's an improvement I can make. So, uh, so lowest velocity group was uh, 1.465 inches with a so 0.933 MOA. Uh, the next group was 1.245 inches with uh, 0.793 MOA. Um, the next group, third group, was 1.448 inches with 0.922 MOA. Um, the next group was 1.194 inches, 0.76 MOA. And the, the best, well, I should say the highest velocity with a very good standard deviation of 8.2 was 1.118 inches and so just under three quarters of MOA at 0.712 so I have to be honest guys um, Superformance really did the job here though the factory theoret well the, the book said 2800 feet per second out of this so even the best uh, load where I was off 133 feet per second out of my barrel so um, didn't really get the velocity I was hoping for um, however, there again, no pressure signs. So guys, I'll, uh, like I did before, I'll post another picture so you guys can take a look at the, uh, at the brass if you want. Really no visible pressure signs to report whatsoever. Um, the, uh, 
you know, everything shot pretty well. Um, same rest setup as I've been using before. Um, so I really do feel that these uh, projectiles were flying more consistently. Um, though I can't say that I'm done. I, I might step it up a little bit so since we didn't see any pressure signs, see what's there. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, already released 10th edition and I've heard rumors that there's more 6.5 Creedmoor data in there. So uh, I'm going to continue on with this. I might load up another set of super, perform super performance loads and see what happens. Um, again, 143 gain LDX, that was the data that I had. Those was the groups that I had. I'll keep this short and sweet for you guys. Um, if something else you guys want to see, um, let me know what it is down in the comments. I'm going to keep working through videos. Um, guys, like and subscribe if you're interested in what I'm doing. If there's something else you guys want to see, um, you know, let me know what that is within reason and we'll see what we can uh, see what I can do. Like I said, guys, I've got some more work to do with these 143s and I'm excited to get after it. Um, I might do a little more work with the super performance that I had pretty good results. And um, I've got a couple more ideas for some things to do and I'll let you guys know. Um, how that goes uh, when I get it done. So, and before I sign out, guys, you know, uh, that feedback I'm looking for, do you guys want to see more shooting in the videos? Do you guys want to, you know, I can see, you know, see the groups as they're being shot? Or do you guys prefer quick and dirty, get your velocity, get your groups, and see what happened? Um, let me know what you guys think. And uh, maybe I'll, if you guys want me to make two separate videos, I can do a video of what the shoot looked like and then give you another video that has the results. Break it out for those who are interested. Um, so anyway, let me know your thoughts, guys. Give me some feedback. Um, thanks to those who have subscribed already. And uh, I appreciate those who are going to. Um, if you guys are interested, you know, like, subscribe. Have a great day, guys.